in this lecture we are going to learn about one very interesting problem and that is to find the number of different binary trees when you are given that there are n nodes in the binary tree okay so you are given a n node binary tree and you have to find how many binary trees are possible okay so here we see how many possible different possible structures are there okay so for very simple example here we are taking n is equal to three nodes so with three nodes you can make something like this i have this one structure one node root node left and right child like this left and right all in the left all in right and once right and then left okay so b3 is equal to 5 it means with three nodes you can have five different binary trees having different structures okay so this is our aim and you have to find for a generalized n number of nodes so let bn denote the number of structurally different binary trees okay so we need to calculate bn okay how many binary trees are possible with n nodes okay they should be different in structures so when you have zero nodes of course so it will be an empty tree so trivially we say that okay b0 is 1 now if there is one node so it will be just the root node and in that structurally you have just one node tree so b1 is also one now let's see for b2 so b2 two nodes left and one way is on the right okay so b2 is two b3 if we see so one is like this so left and right child then like this one this one so we have five possibilities okay so b3 is five now i am asking for a n node binary tree how much is the count so let's little bit when you have these kind of problems let's try to move further but can you find some relation i will give you one hint can you find any relation between b3 and b2 okay so this is the question can you find any relation between b3 and b2 if you cannot find in this small piece try to have a larger picture we will calculate b4 now and see so b4 what happens this way we can have a root okay so we have four nodes okay so one node will be of course the root node then what can happen you can have here a left subtree okay and right subtree and this is the root so now what happens is that in the left subtree will also be a binary tree okay recursion so you have a root node then you have a left subtree you have a right subtree so now this left subtree because this whole tree if it is a binary tree this left subtree should also be a binary tree and this right subtree should also be a binary tree now out of these four nodes one node is taken okay so if in the left subtree you have three nodes in the right you will have zero node if in the left subtree you have two nodes in the right you can have one node similarly if i have just one node in the left subtree in order to make a binary tree with four nodes i should have two here so one in the left subtree two in the right so three and plus one on the root so four nodes if i have zero nodes in the left subtree i will have three nodes on the right subtree okay so let's now try to see this and we already have these things okay we know the binary trees with b0 is 1 b1 is 1 b2 is 2 these two structures b3 is 5 okay so now if i say that okay left subtree has five nodes okay so left subtree has three nodes then right subtree has zero nodes so here this is the right subtree is empty 
right subtree is empty in all these cases and now I'm just putting all different possible binary trees with three nodes okay so if you see so these five trees are in fact copies of these okay so if you see so this is triple straight this is balanced binary tree with three nodes like this so we have b3 into b0 okay now we can also have two nodes in the left one on the right so one on the right is fixed there is only one way but correspondingly you have two kinds of with two nodes we can have both going left one will be like root and right okay so this is the b2 into b1 similarly now one node in the left so it is fixed only one type of binary tree is there but with two nodes on the right you can have two kinds of subtrees here okay so that's the game and then you have b0 into b3 so now i have no node here in the left or oh, everything is on the right so one subtree this one then the next subtree third subtree fourth one and the fifth one so we have again five so you could see that b4 is so b0 into b3 plus b1 into b2 plus b2 into b1 plus b3 into b0 okay so this is b4 and i could write this as b4 is equal to i is equal to 0 to 3 b i b of 3 minus i okay so this is the succinct formula for this b4 and now as we are all smart enough in generalization so we can say b of n is equal to i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 b of i into b of n minus 1 minus i. So this is the pretty simple formula bn number of binary trees with n nodes. In the left subtree you choose i nodes then on the right because one node is taken by root i nodes are taken in the left subtree. So n minus 1 minus i will be for the right subtree. So this is the number of binary trees that are possible. So and this is here again I have explained this. So one node among n nodes is taken as the root i node in the left subtree n minus 1 minus i node in the right subtree and this is the formula. Okay. Now this is done. So one of my friends, okay, on the internet, so he asked me about generator functions, okay, generator functions and how to find this number actually. So he wanted, like this is a recursive formula that, okay, BN in terms of, so you keep on calculating bottom up, then you will get it. But can we find really BN? Can we approximate it? Can we find it? okay so mathematically can we do it so that was his question and so here we to calculate it mathematically the number of nodes okay so this is a very important field of combinatorics okay so we have a generating function let's see what it is so generating function is basically we write all the numbers b0 b1 b2 b3 that is the number of binary trees that are possible with n nodes so b z b of z is n is equal to 0 to infinity b n z to the power of n so this is a polynomial whose coefficients are basically the coefficient of z to the power of n is b of n okay so now you see we can write b0 plus b1 z plus b2 z square plus b3 z cube plus b4 z to the power of 4 and so on till infinity and what are these coefficients b0 b1 b2 b3 and so on so they are basically bi is the number of node number of binary trees that are possible with i nodes okay so we know that okay we calculated b1 is 1 and then b0 is 1 b1 is also 1 b2 is 2 b3 is 5 b of 4 is 14 
and I think if I'm not wrong B5 is 42 okay so like this it will go on so this is the generating function so I write a polynomial infinite degree polynomial where the coefficients are the of z to the power of n is the number of uh, number of binary trees that, that are possible with n nodes okay so now we try to find some relation between b z square okay so let's try to find b z into b of z okay so this is b of z square so it is simply we can write it as i expand 1 plus b1 z plus b2 z square plus b3 z cube plus b4 z to the power of 4 and so on and again it gets multiplied with itself 1 plus b1 z plus b2 z square plus b3 z and so on dot 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 now if you see if i multiply this i will get the coefficient of z to the power of 0 is 1 into 1 okay so i write here z to the power of 1 is so how can i get it i can multiply this z with this one and this one or z to the power of zero with b1 z and nothing else okay so this becomes one into b1 plus b1 into one if i find z square the coefficient of z square in this product so z square you can get by one into b2 okay so here one that is z to the power of zero here b2 z to the power of two so it will become z square so one into b2 and then otherwise both z to the power of 1 and z to the power of 1 so b1 into b1 then we can have b2 here from the first bz and from the other one i take b0 okay so b2 into 1 okay so this way i get the coefficient of z square for z cube again you can see that it becomes now how will you obtain z cube i can get it by multiplying z to the power of 0 into z cube z to the power of 1 into z square z square into z to the power of 1 plus z cube into z to the power of 0 and that's what it is done so here if i take z to the power of 0 i have to take z to the power z cube here so b3 1 into b3 if i take b1 here z to the power of 1 z square i have to take here so 1 b1 into b2 if i take z square so b2 here i have to take z here b1 b2 into b1 if i take b3 z cube so z cube is already done so only z to the power of 0 so b3 into b0 so this is the case so in fact i should write b0 here for symmetry everywhere in fact b1 into b0 okay so b0 here you can assume it or it is basically b0 okay so this way if you expand so now what i do i do z into bz square plus one so it will become one plus one into one z plus one into b1 plus b1 or b0 and so on okay so what will this become so now if you see the coefficient of z4 here so b0 into b3 b1 into b2 b2 into b1 b3 into b0 if you see this so what is this for b4 so it is nothing but this one so now you see b4 is i is equal to 0 to 3 bi into b of 3 minus i so we see that this is nothing but the number of binary trees that are possible with three nodes so z to the power of four has this coefficient so now this one becomes so one plus b1 z plus so z square has a coefficient of okay so b4 so this way it goes on so z z to the power of four has b of four z cube has b of three z square has b of 2 z to the power of 1 has b of 1 okay and similarly 1 is z to the power of 0 so this way we see this thing becomes b of z so now what we get so we get b of 
z on the right hand side so this one is b of z is equal to 1 plus z into b of z whole square so this is the generating function okay and by this if we take out bz on one side so it becomes 1 by 2z 1 minus root under 1 minus 4z so this is the formula okay if i take b of z as a function of z so now what happens now you have to apply a little bit of taylor's theorem taylor's series okay or generalized okay generalized binomial theorem binomial theorem and from that you will get that the coefficient bn okay of the z to the power of n will be 1 by n plus 1 into 2n choose n okay so this will be the exact formula for the number of nodes number of binary trees are that are possible with n nodes okay so this comes to be such a beautiful formula 1 by n plus 1 2n choose n so this is the formula for the number of binary trees that are possible with n nodes okay so i hope you understand this and the mathematical derivation too so i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot